Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? Killing Cash here, and it's the late night. It's the night time, the time that I get creative, whatnot. But when you get creative and you're moving out throughout the day, whatnot, especially when you're trying to eat healthy and eat like mostly a vegan diet, um, vegan, vegetarian, um, very little fish, like weaned off the fish um, a while ago. You know, there's certain times, though, you may catch it. But um, the thing is, how do you eat healthy vegan on the late night? And you can do the fast food route and, you know, everybody can you do hamburgers, vegan, this and that, um, tater tots filled in with them. You can go to Jack in the Box, get a teriyaki bowl. To me, um, I buy all the foods that I want to eat and I can make a teriyaki bowl at home. I have enough veggies. I have the teriyaki sauce. I'm king of sauces. If I ever do like a tour of that, I have so many sauces. But I had um, a thing for bacon because I haven't had bacon in a while. So I always try these different bacons, whatnot. And forgive me for those who are listening to the podcast who can't see it, but go to the YouTube, go to the Instagram. You'll be able to catch a sneak peek. This bacon right here, um, I put it in the conventional oven. I pan fried it. I have air fried it. This is the brand. I'm just not a fan of this bacon. Um, I know it's like low in calories, like maybe like 20 calories per slice. <clears throat> but whether you don't cook it long enough or not, it just doesn't. I, I'm dipping it right now in um, maple syrup. And for me, the texture, I have it. It's not hard, hard. And that's fine. I did make some like I overcooked it intentionally. But it's just not tasty. You know, a little salty. Whatnot, and I don't mind salt. Kind of, I might be king of salt, but it just doesn't have that that taste. So for me, this life, light life, smart bacon, I wouldn't get it again. Um, there's other brands out there that I'm gonna try, but as I say, I don't like it. I take another bite, right? So I wouldn't say it's disgusting. It's just not hit me when I wanted it to hit you so the other thing a lot of people go to fast food and they go get tater tots and this and that i go to costco grab one of the, these hash brown packs and it when i feel like some real junk food throw this in the air fryer i'm golden you know golden take that put that 10 minutes in the air fryer put some of my favorite ketchup that i'm going to show you right here can you see that it is, hold on, let me turn the lights off real quick. <laughs> Portland's ketchup, and this is some good ketchup. I found this ketchup bottle out at um, one of my um, favorite restaurants. They have great veggie and vegan burgers in Seattle at 8 Ounce Cafe, shout out. And I tried to buy a bottle the first year we were here. And they're like, we don't know if we can sell a bottle. Let's get a manager. And how much is it going to be? $10. And I'm like, I want the mustard, really. The ketchup was just extra. But I wanted the mustard. I'm like, $20 for that? Mm. So I waited. And then I found a place a little closer to me that actually sells this for less than they were going to sell it to me. And I found that with a lot of the sauces I like because even my favorite sauce in the world, Everett and Jones, Oakland, California is the home. And Everett and Jones, the bottle's like $10, $13, but at my place, it's cheaper. So I always get my sauces there. In this bottle of Portland's ketchup, it has water, tomato paste, white distilled vinegar, cane sugar, sea salt, onion powder, allspice, cayenne pepper, and ground cloves. That's it. You know, shake, spread, or refrigerate. I keep this in the house and it goes good with my vegan late night snack. So I don't have to go out. I don't have the risk of any risk of going out on the late night. You know, the werewolves come out at night and, you know, and you just want to be comfortable, especially when you're working. Put that fork down, I guess. Um, especially when you're working, and you get things done because everything is quiet at night. You can get creative. You can take time to meditate on the word. You can just do everything that you want to do and relax. 
in the, your own home. You can sit in a massage chair if you want and just, just relax. You know, you can do nothing. You can do push-ups. You can do sit-ups. So when I'm doing all that or thinking about it, last thing I want to do is go out and, you know, Uber Eats. You can always Uber eat stuff, but now you got somebody knocking on your door late night. You know, um, just relax. So I like to get all my food. I don't mind uh, spending extra on food on things that I might want. So I never know what I want to eat. But this smart bacon from Light Life, um, I changed the recipe a little bit and not get that again. Try a different one until they change the recipe. Hash browns and so many treats and snacks that you can get, you know, dates, whatever. If you're feeling like you need something sweet, there's so many different things because I, I, I like to pick out. And, you know, I do get down on a lot of junk food. So, but I have to do it on the weekend is what I try to do. Do my junk food on the weekend like the rock supposedly does, right? So that's my little tip for vegan late night treats. Again, like, share, go to the Kellen Cash, Cash with a K on Instagram, the Twitters, the Snapchats, the YouTubes, all that. Like, subscribe. If you need some, you know, insight on something, you know, we you can book a time with us on two different platforms the cprfirm.as.me and the clarity.fm backslash killing cash. You hit me up. Happy to give you these guys these sweet treats on how to eat healthier because you got to eat healthy. You don't eat healthy, you won't be around long, you know. And you always see people getting like the big, uh, they're still doing like the diet cokes, like they're doing something. Like stop, stop having soda, period. You know, drink juice and try to do natural juice if you can, because how can you tell somebody, you know, hey, I'm a expert in whatever and you're not healthy. You know, you got to have your health. Your health is your wealth. That's what the people always say. So check that out. Um, you don't want to catch a heart attack. You know, I know some people catching heart attacks at young ages. It's the food that we eat, man. It can kill you or it can build you up. Y'all be blessed. I'm out.